All right, guys. Uh, it's hard for me to figure out where to put this camera, so I'm just gonna get really small. We're gonna be right here. It's gonna be Sejuani for Spica. So if he's gonna go Sejuani, what is he gonna go for top then? Top lane Wukong? No, they don't play with Wukong, do they? Then we got. Look at the bands. They're banning ED carry. They're banning bot lane heavy. It's almost like it's reckless. Alright, alright. I got you. I got you, Vic. Um, let's see here. So what can they be banning? To be honest, they could be banning... If they're going to keep banning bot lane... Are they going to pick Zin? No, it's Renekton top. I don't even know what the uh, C9 actually does, so we'll see. Dignitas, how are they going to respond to this? Looks like Dignitas has their own uh, rotation and champion select. They're not going to... I don't think they're actually reacting to the Renekton picked here. The Skarner ban is actually interesting. Also, Rumble ban. That's, that, that's definitely dedicated to somebody there. Tristana is actually just broken. Makes sense. Tristana is actually just broken. You actually just auto-lose lane to Tristana. So the only targeted ban there is Rumble, honestly. Skarner, I guess you can't top lane against Skarner. You guys want to hear the stream? Sure. Really? You want to hear it? You can be incredibly durable and stack a lot of HP, which Interesting. Really well with so Jax is actually coming back to the competitive scene. I don't know if this is a good pick. It just seems... Uh, I don't know. It's just... I don't know if he's actually that competitive anymore. I guess that counter strike is insane. It's just so good. What kind of ban is C9 going to ban? Are they just going to continue banning bot lane? No, they're going to start banning mid. So they stopped banning supports. And now because AD carry and support is the what's left, so now Dignitas is going to go ahead and ban support. Possibly a Nautilus ban here. I see they like banned a lot of these heavy big guys. No, Lucian. Which actually Lucian makes sense in a Maokai setup. Especially against Varus, yeah, Lucian would have popped off. That that's a good ban right there. And Nautilus is banned. Yep, Nautilus is Nautilus and Tristan I would say are just too strong right now. They're just too strong. Those are just broken. I'm, I'm surprised they banned Nautilus far final thing. That's, I'm surprised about that. But if you see C9, he's kind of really scared about this bot lane, which is kind of interesting. Oh, Israel just got a buff, guys. Israel just got a buff. Are we going to see it here? Are we going to see the Israel? Yeah, looks like we're going to see an Israel. Ooh, Oriana. Oriana buffing in the Jax and the Sejuani. I don't know about Sejuani. I wish it was Nocturne. Uh, that he doesn't want the court or Zin Zhao instead of Sejuani, but uh, Oriana still Oriana makes sense with the Sejuani. You just buff him up, he jumps right in the middle, and you do a cool ulti after the stun. Exactly, you get a ball delivery system. I don't know, we'll see. I would say if you guys want to watch a player, uh, Jax, I'm gonna keep my eyes on Jax, see how he's gonna play the game. Kaisa picked, Kaisa is really strong. Kaisa is one of the strongest laners right now. I think she actually beats the Varus. So Varus has to just back off, stay good. What kind of support are they going to pick now? I think we're going to get a healer. Ooh, Kaisa, Leona. What can peel Leona? Not Nami. Lulu. Lulu's insane here. Lulu would be really good here, I think. But Lulu just doesn't work with the rest of the comp. Unless they want to buff this Sejuani somehow. I don't get why we picked Sejuani jungle here, yeah, honestly. Abram can peel too, but... Yeah, 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 for the Kai'Sa, yeah, I can see Braum. Because Kai'Sa has to stand right in front of you and attack. Abram is actually really good heal, they needed the big peeler. I would say, guys, let's keep an eye on uh, the mid lane. As long as and I want to see, what is that, Jax top lane? I want to see who's going to beat, uh, so let's go ahead and watch top lane and mid lane today, guys. We're going to see, I think bottom lane is going to be pretty neutral. And jungle is neutral as well. Yeah, I would say jungle looks neutral here, guys, and bottom lane looks neutral. 
but Jax is kind of iffy in the pick here. He might actually lose to their next and depends on the play style. And then Talia, she's going to start moving very quickly. She's going to start ganking lanes very quickly so she can change this met this whole game plan. We'll see what they're planning on doing. Are, are, I don't know if C9 actually wants to fight because I know Dignitas are ready for a fight the way Dignitas build their team. The team comp is a fighting team comp. Like they want to gather in front of Bar Dragon and fight. They want to gather in front of Baron and fight. So we'll see how that goes. But I also can see that C9, even though they picked really strong individual laners, they can get to lane uh, to the fights really quickly as well. Like um, Leona can hit the ulti from far away, so she can be outside the lane and still uh, get there in time to ulti. Uh, Kaisa can jump in any moment she wants from bot lane. Uh, you got uh, Talia that can ulti anywhere. So she, they can get to those places that they need to be early. So it's going to be a cool, interesting match, guys. I'm interesting. Let's jump right in. Let's jump right in. I actually don't know if we should listen to them. Or not. That's right. That's right. And I think I'm going to let the crowd do the talking. Me too. I'm going to let them speak for themselves. That's what you love in best of three. You get the trade wins early on in the series. The energy goes up for game three and a like, strong dig chance. Uh, I think a lot of it has to do I'll with the right famous here. players that they have signed, yeah. the storied players that they signed, giving them like, right a here. chance in the LCS. Letting Sven play AD carry once again. Hop and Jensen into the mid lane as well, even though it didn't go so well the first time around with Dignitas Jensen. Nice! I like no, that no, camera no. movement. That's Let's go. Action. Okay, Jensen's already attacking. I like this mid lane. I don't know why Jensen would even try to fight the Talia. It's clear as day you lose that. Uh, every Oriana player knows they lose to the Talia early on. I don't even know why we just did that. We lost. Okay, guys, this mid lane is actually insane. You get, if we look at top lane, you're going to see them fighting right now, too. Now, bot lane is just going to be fighting for uh, location. So they're not going to be actually fighting here. Talia already won this lane. Oriana cannot move forward. Now Talia is free to go anywhere. Let's move to the seat. I don't think bot lane we should even look at it. This is nothing gonna happen here. Just some free damage. Look at that nice trade. Now the problem is the trade went to the support, whereas the dignitized player, the AD carry took all the trade, so he's forced to flash there. Whereas the now if you can just go on the Kaisa, I think you guys get a kill. No, Kaisa is just too good. Kaisa actually picks a cleanse? Wow, I'm impressed. I don't know why we actually disengage from that. I think we just keep fighting there. Uh, because what do you lose, Dignitas? Sven only loses his support, whereas C9 might lose their Kaisa, which is much bigger. Brahms is missing his Qs. Okay, I want to look at mid lane and top lane, to be honest. Uh, this is just going to be neutral for the whole... Till level 6, I would say it's just going to stay neutral. They're just too good to each other. This is crazy. Usually support sitting in bush don't give you any value but when it's an lcs game just sitting in bush is enough for uh, the bottom lane to not even move forward brother i need actual esports players names you said i should keep an eye on okay so i'm uh keep an eye on Jax. oh i don't know what the, the names are i'll find them for you okay keep an eye on jojo the 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 Talia from mid and then keep an eye on Jax Licorice from Dignitas. So right side keep an eye on Jax and left side keep an eye on Jojo. They're gonna be making or breaking their teams. Because Oriana no matter what she's gonna be good but Jax if he stops getting fed he's screwed. Like if Jax messes up a couple of ganks or messes up a couple of kills he's screwed. Okay, Blabber and Speak are right next to each other. I think Speak actually loses that. I mean, he's already behind on levels, which is kind of crazy. Is that how much value you get from this couple? You literally level up so quickly with that. Well, it makes sense. I mean, Blabber's just uh, clear was so much faster than Speak. I don't know what Speak was doing. Let's see. Yeah, Blabber's got all the scuttles. This is insane. Jensen uh, is doing good. Jojo is not trying to win lane right now. They just want to keep this even. Because it makes sense. You don't want to get ganked. You would be scared of the Sejuani. You're not sure where the Sejuani is, so you want to not push. But now that he has a chance to push, he's going to back up, I think. No, no backing. 
What do you have taking game one? Uh, from right now, what I'm seeing, I'm really liking the C9 game plan. C9's uh, champions just seem freaking solid compared. But also, if Dignitas makes their champions work, it's gonna be popular. Look at C9, they're already like shutting down the Sejuani or trying to. That's amazing. Look how strong Renekton is. You see how Dig Jax just auto kind of loses that lane? So I'm surprised that they give Jax, but maybe they just won the team fight. I don't know what they want Jax for, honestly. They they were like, okay, we just want you to go even <laughs> in lane. We don't need to win ga uh, game. We just want to go even. I think that's why he picked Jax. All right. I don't think anyone's gonna get Dragon. Uh, if anybody is gonna get Dragon, it looks like bottom lane is. Uh, well, I see that the actual lane in bottom is pushing to the left side, to the blue side. So I don't know, it looks like uh, Dignitas is primed to get this dragon. If if mid lane would push, they need mid lane to push right now. But if the mid lane pushes, yeah, they got it right now. Yeah, you have to gank. Yeah, yeah, you have to gank. Yep. <gasps> Come on, you see how useless Sejuani is? She walks that whole lane and then does nothing to help nobody. Like, that's so unfortunate. Uh, I just don't like the Sejuani pick here. I get she was always a good jungler, but not anymore. I don't think so. Not. I mean, look at Malka. He just outperformed the Sejuani. That's crazy. It's not like there's any ganks that Blabber did over the Sejuani. It's not that Malka is crazy good jungler. He literally is just a better pather than the Sejuani is. That's all. Or maybe he picked a... I don't even think he picked a rune or anything. It's just... He just killed more minions. Let me look at it. Yeah, Maokai killed 44 minions, where uh, Sejuani only killed 30. So right now, Blabber is literally winning just on gameplay alone, let alone the champion. Blabber is going to be stronger than Sejuani in the team fight. Well, that's going to be a big impact to the team fight. We'll see. I don't know. It looks like this mid lane is falling apart. It looks like top lane fell apart. Bottom lane is not doing any good. So I'm actually worried for Dignitas. Now, obviously, this is way too early. I could be wrong. We'll see what happens, guys. We'll see what happens. Malkai is just such a legend. Look at that. Oh my god. This guy is a monster. Blabber is actually a monster in pathing. Can you move your mouse or something so you can get rid of the red bar? Bro, I'm mentally ill. My bad, boys. I'm mentally ill. My bad. I, I actually did not notice the red bar. Let's look at the items for a second here. So juwani has got some tankiness. Malkai's got some damage. Looks like Malkai is going to go for the mask early on. Leandri's. Come on, Malkai, get this kill. Oh, he's dead. He's dead, right? Oh my god, no, he's not. Why is Sejuani so bad? Why didn't he keep running? Like, why is he just standing in front of everyone in, in flashing position? Guys, so C9 is already doing much better. Sejuani just fell, failed. He's already two, one level or two levels behind the Malkai. I don't know how fast. I can't believe how fast that happened. Renekton TP is bottom, so no more TP for the next 6 minutes. So Dragon, still nobody fighting for it. But Renekton is in bottom lane. Renekton is just so strong. Oh my god, no, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. I'm surprised Talia didn't push forward. I don't know, I guess Talia doesn't have any vision, so she didn't. He, she thought she's going to get counter ganked there. But that was a kill for Talia. I'm surprised Talia didn't push for that. Okay, so I don't know what's happening right now. Okay, so you guys notice what happened? They won that fight, but there's no vision on C9 side, so they actually had no idea where the opponent was. So they couldn't set up for Dragon, they couldn't set up for anything. So even though they won the fight, they were so scared, they didn't actually capitulate into anything else. Yeah, Renekton's level 8, yeah, Renekton's just destroying this Jax. It's a little bit crazy, crazy. I knew Jax was gonna lose though. But I mean, Jax just got ganked, so maybe that's why. I mean, but he already auto lost that lane. Okay, come on, Talia, keep pushing. Don't let this uh, Orianna gain anything. And gank, 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 gank. No, not gank, gank. Gank, gank. This is why you always gotta use your free wards. Yes, sir. <laughs> Talk to the LCSers. I think they're using them up, uh, but. The, 
they just nerfed the wards so much. They nerfed the wards and the the, the yellow and red wards. They nerfed them so hard that they're just useless now. Come on, jump on him. Come on! Why didn't they jump on Sven? No, never mind. Sven was solo there. They could have had him. Leona, Leona Kaisa, are you kidding me? Leona had the full arm reach. She couldn't see that. Nobody saw the Leona. She could have caught that uh, Sven. Oh my god, I'm so mad right now. That's crazy. They throw it. Braum was so far away. They would have killed that uh, Varus before Braum gets there. Bro, these LCS players are playing worse than some solo queue player. I'm not gonna lie. Are you getting in solo queue? Maybe later, yeah. Man, the problem is the wife is here, man. I don't want to stream too long, you know. I want to be there with her, man. Fucking responsibilities. Anyways. Fuck responsibilities. Licorice is getting a little bit of big ego here. Getting a little bit forward. I think Licorice is doing something weird. He knows he's losing. But, I mean, he has the jump backwards. He probably has flash too. That's why he's staying risky. Also had that word there. And he knows Maokai is not coming from any other way. Pro players focus too much on mining and gold. Well, you have to because if you lose experience, you're like Jax. You're literally now one level behind forever for the rest of the game. Like, there, nobody else is going to give you levels. I will say, getting Leandri's first on Maokai, while this is still, you know, kind of a tank on tank matchup, this is a huge spike when you are going for max control on objectives. Alright, let's go, Maokai. What's the plan? After this, are we doing something? Oh, yeah, they're pinging to move up top. Oh man, I would be very scared. Talia's gonna get ready to ulti here, I think. Oh man, 1 HP? No, they're already there. No, Maokai's not even close, guys. This sucks. Now, you guys, yep. Yeah. Oh my god, they've screwed that one up so badly. This is actually unbelievable how badly they screwed this one up. Why would Leona engage so early? Bro, they're playing worse than solo queue players. Not only no vision, they went in before Maokai was even close. Why would he even go in? Like Renekton died to the tower. The, at least bait the counter strike back a little off. Wait, is, since Maokai is not there, don't fully engage. Look at Leona. She, no, like Renekton, Leona, and Kaisa engage way too early. Yeah, Renekton died before he could do anything. Oh man. Oh, I can't even blame the Leona. Kaisa just uh, jumped in so early that Renekton thought he's ready, but nobody was there. It was just him and Kaisa. Leona wasn't even in position. And honestly, they're just going to sit there and keep trying to tower dive. You cannot tower dive Jax. Now we know why they picked Jax. Now we know why they picked Jax. Jax is untower diveable, guys. You know, it's mid versus top lane in the bottom lane. <laughs> I never thought I would say that. Varus is in the center. Okay, they switched all lanes. All lanes have switched completely right now. Except Licorice. For some reason, Licorice is the, Licorice is the last one standing up top. I think Licorice just ungankable. Like, nobody can tower dive him. And he can jump away. That's what the Jax pick was for. It wasn't to win the lane. He knew he was going to lose the lane. He just wanted something to stay alive with till the late game. Wow, Varus misses that ulti. Doesn't gain the value. Like, th what is happening right now? Yo, why Why is their casters not saying anything about the ulti miss? Like, why am I the only one speaking about this? Did they even notice he missed his ulti? Berserker would have been the prime target for Dignitas if they wanted to go for this dragon and contest it alongside the rest of Cloud9. Yeah, but Varus just missed his ulti, so he can't do anything. Thanatos is here, but there's multiple members of Cloud9 on the top side after crashing. No one's talking about this. This is crazy. This is insane, guys. No one's actually talking about this. I'm actually surprised. I'm actually surprised. I, I'm in disbelief. Bro, this is like my solo queue game. Dignitas is playing like my solo queue team last game. 
Anyways, continuing on, uh, Blabber just secured every single dragon, every single top lane objective ever. Now, I think he didn't get the dragon. That's true. He's losing dragons, but he's got such a strong handle on top lane. It's kind of crazy. This is going to be your, res your resume and send in to Riot to hire you as a shoutcaster. For real, bro. I could do a better job. Well, I think the shoutcaster is not meant to actually point out these mistakes. Plus, I've done a little bit of work here locally. I'm, I'm pretty famous locally when it comes to League of Legends. Anyways, uh, Jensen is not doing good here. Sejuani has not set up a single good fight. Sejuani is behind really heavy. Jensen is doing good, but he needs that Sejuani to do something. I mean, he's not going to be able to do anything. He can't get close. He's not going to be able to ever get into a fight. So the thing about Ariana is she's not a mage. She's really not a mage. She's a supporting mage. So she cannot actually win fights. She's not like a Syndra that's initiates or fights or like a zoe that just jumps in kills somebody jumps right out that she cannot do that what oriana does is she supports her team she wants a team to jump in and she supports the team that jumps in that's, that's all it is so now that jax doesn't have counter strike thantos wants to jump in on him but they can't jax is actually so strong right now this is crazy finally speak is making it happen yo renekton is literally dying solo queue deaths right now Renekton did not have to die there. Like, why? He, did, his whole team told him, hey, by the way, Sejuani is coming top. Hello, we don't know where Sejuani is. Sejuani's top. His whole team was telling him, hey, Sejuani stop, Sejuani stop. He had a ward there and still gets ganked by Sejuani. But it makes sense because what happens is Sejuani jumps that wall so quickly that he doesn't have time to react. C9 has the better CC. Yes, uh, Season 9 has the better CC. But have you seen the Gnitaz's team? They have Sejuani, Oriana, uh, Jax. Varus and Brahms. What do you mean they have the better CC? Actually, this, the Dignitas team is too good. I think you mean Dignitas has better CC, has more CC. Every single champion on Dignitas can stun you. Or, like, manipulate your, you in, in a way. Oriana, Varus, or oh, Brahms. I call them Brahms. <laughs> uh, I'm hungry for a milkshake. Actually, we might go grab a milkshake later, me and my baby. Locally, I swear to God, I've played tournaments here when in our internet cafe, local internet cafe. And I won tournaments, like a lot of teams wanted to me to play. I think C9 got this. Uh, we'll see, man. I'm actually rooting for Dignitas. I was rooting for C9, but Dignitas has the better team comp the, to win fights. And C9 is just making too many mistakes. Like, they're supposed to be ahead right now. You know, but they're not. So if they're not ahead and see it, Dignitas has the better comp, obviously when the team fights happen, you're going to start losing those team fights. So we'll see how it happens. It all is going to depend on the Sejuani engagement and how close Oriana is to the fight. That's really what it's going to depend on. They are ahead by what? A thousand gold? That's not ahead. Barely ahead. Well, if that's if the support has the 1000 gold, they're not ahead at all. They're not ahead, they just have better champions, but this the other team skills better. Look at that, Sejuani just engaged. No, no, they, they have no vision, they don't engage there. Sejuani just uh, wasted ulti. I don't think they told, I don't think anyone told Sejuani to ulti. She just freaking ma wasted ulti there. Do you not understand, Speaker? you just lost the dragon if there's a dragon? Let me see, what's the dragon timer? 50 seconds. No, they'll have ulti. I think he has ulti within 60 seconds, so he'll be fine. Licorice is dead. No, no, he has ward. I didn't know he has ward. If he didn't have ward and flesh, he was dead. Yeah, if he didn't have ward and flesh, he was dead. This is why you don't ulti speak out. You do not need to ulti there. You needed ulti here. Look, if he had ulti, this, these guys are dead. At least one of them would have been dead. Holy moly. Oh my god. No, where's your ulti speak out? Speaker, this is why you just don't waste ulti. You don't act like, oh, it's going to come back in 50 seconds anyways, and the dragon doesn't show up in 50 seconds. What you do is you save it. You don't know what's about to happen. We don't know where the enemy team is. You know they're trying to set up for a fight down there. The problem is C9 cannot switch this into a dragon. They just, they're not, they're too weak. Let's see how C9 deals with this. Yeah, C9 has some nice chain CC. Honestly, C9 just played better. I'm not gonna lie. C9 is just playing better right now than Dignitas. Zven missed all his ulties. Uh, C9 Renekton won against the Jax. Um, 
Uh, the Talia is just so much more mobile and does so much more than Oriana. Honestly, they just got outpicked and outplayed right now. C9 is outplaying and outpicking Dignitas. But Dignitas got secured every single dragon. Like, C9 is winning the fights and then they're losing the dragon. Do you see this? Do you see what's happening right now? C9 wins the fight. They just killed somebody. But they just lost the third dragon. How is this happening? Why? Because they're picking bad timing. So Dignitas doesn't want to win fights. They're waiting to scale later game. And they recognize that we're getting outclassed here. We just need to play for objectives and we need to survive to late game. And I think that's why Spica did not make a single play till now. <laughs> not trying to talk shit. Obviously Spica can 1v1 me, but I'm just saying like he could I think I think I just don't like Sejuani. Maybe that's why. <laughs> Kanye West noticed that I was being sly. Alright, uh, Dignitas can do a lot now. Okay, C9 can set up too for a lot of things. Let's see, this is this is about to get exciting, guys. I don't know if Korea plays like this. I don't think Korea plays at all like this. I think Korea plays so different. How are you only a silver player? Answer me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why am I... <laughs> bro, I don't know, bro. I suck at the game. Maybe I'm maximum a gold player. Alright, Spica is gonna do something. Come on, Spica. Oh, he stole it. Okay, okay, okay. no, no, jump, 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 jump. Yeah, yeah, don't stop. Don't leave Bear uh, Blabber alone. Oh my god. So Dignitas just flipped it, guys. I Didn't I root for Dignitas? I'm, I'm the one rooting for Dignitas, right, guys? C9 is slowly, slowly getting kicked out of the game. C9 is slowly... Getting to a point where they cannot play the game. This is insane. They don't even take that uh, pink ward. Yeah, because uh, I stopped playing League for like four years, Vic. Like, I was on a team, but then the, uh, I fucking left the team because they had a trash jungler. And they wouldn't give me a better jungler, so... I don't know. I might have thrown my whole dreams. Wow. C9, C9 is... Wow, C9 did so good there. Oriana's dead. <gasps> Varus. Oh, come on, Oriana. You didn't shield Varus once. Oh, Oriana's out of the fight already. Okay, that was that's fine. Yeah, this is a tough fight. Okay, so this is where Kaisa is showing how she broken she is right now. She literally just won that whole fight solo. Kaisa literally carried that whole fight. Could have could have been playing with Bergeson. Bro, I swear to God, I had the team that took me to Kansas City to just so for practice. And we have, you know, Emeru? Vic, you know Emeru? She's the local from my local play player. Like Emeru, the famous League of Legends player. She's local from here. Like, I know her. Like, she knows me. Anyways, uh... She knows I was the cute Arab kid. I don't, I'm not sure she actually knows my name. She knows I'm the cute Arab kid now. Yeah, I know, but she became famous from League of Legends. Like, I was in the meeting where, like, I was in that meeting. But what happened was I came late. My friend was like, come, come, I have big guys that... Uh, he told me about this. He was like, hey, I have these big guys that are linked with streamers. I didn't understand what he meant. And there, Emily was there in that meeting. And uh, when I went there, the meeting was already done. And so I didn't say anything. But basically, I was like one of the best. I was the best Wichita player. Like, I won a 1v1 tournament. I did so much stuff. So I was the best 1v... Like, I was the best League of Legends player in Wichita. I, w I would win 1v1 tournaments. Like, I would win against Diamond players and bigger players. I would win 1v1 tournament. And, and my games were the best. Like, it was insane. It gets to be insane. Tyler One, you're right, you're right. You don't have to be a pro player. You can, yeah, honestly, I would love to just make content for League of Legends. That would be a dream of mine. If I can make like five hundred or a thousand dollars playing League of Legends, I, I would love master the game to be nothing but League of Legends related. That's how it was supposed to be from the beginning. I don't know why I never focused that. I just always assumed no one would watch me League of Legends. Because I tried streaming League of Legends a lot and it's the worst game to stream. Anyways, back in. Right now, we are going to get into a fight. C9 and Dignitas are setting up to stand next to each other. None of them is going to let the other person take their tower down. And obviously, Dignitas doesn't really have a power to push, not like Talia has. So, they're just stuck there waiting for Talia to push into them. And then Oriana has to 
push that off and uh, I'm not sure who's wh what's happening here Malkai has to engage but Sejuani doesn't allow that to happen because she's standing right there in front of everyone for some reason Spika only ulties Malkai I'm not really sure why there it is that's oh my god C9 telling you just well, what the hell just happened there we have to rewind that that was unbelievable. Let's listen to the let's listen to the casters. That's absolutely amazing. What just happened there? Was that a Talia? There was a Talia stone that picked three C Dignitas players and threw them in the back and stunning all of them. Sejuani failed there. Talia shut down the exit lane. Talia stuns every one of them in the air. Oh my God! If Spika is only going to ulti Maokai, you're never going to be able to win this game. You're never going to be able to ulti win this game if only Spika only ultis the Maokai. There's no chance of winning, bro. I'm getting pissed right now. Like, Sejuani, what's happening, bro? Okay, C9 craps another catch here. Nope, the Licorice somehow had freaking flash this whole fight. He never used it. I don't know how he didn't use that. Maybe he wasn't caught up there. Yeah, no running. That Talia was insane. I can't believe how good professional Talia players are. Talia is such a big brain, big brain player. All right, let's watch this. So Talia sets up for a push. Spika is trying to catch somebody, before, but there's nobody. It's either it's either you hit the Leon or you hit the Maokai. Nobody else is in front of you. Leon is engaged. Was absolutely insane. Stunning everyone. F every guys, a flash right in the middle of everybody. In center. I can't believe Berserk's big balls. He just... Did you see that? That's unbelievable. Look at Berserk, guys. Look at the Kaisa jumps from the back end all the way to the right in the middle of the fight. Oh, my God. This is insane. So, it wasn't only Talia's abilities. That Berserk jumping in with a Q was all that damage as well. That was insane. I've never seen a Kaisa with bigger balls in my life. Uh, C9, honestly, right now, is just playing a better game. Dignitas still has a really strong team comp, can really come back from behind, can scale up really well. I don't know how well Talia scales into late game. So that could be something that changes. Oriana scales much better maybe than Talia. I'm not sure. I know Talia is spiking right now. There's a power spike happening, which is why they're taking all these fights. So let's see. I think the longer the game goes, the better it is for Dignitas. But C9 looks to be setting up to end this game right now. Renekton is higher level than the top laner. Um... Everyone is much stronger right now on C9's team. I, there's no reason for you to stop pushing right now. Where's Renekton? What is setting? What is what is the setup happening? What, what's happening right now? What's the setup going for? Renekton's higher levels. Are they going to try to push bot lane? Renekton could be just pushing and then meeting at Baron. We could look at this. We're, we're going to keep an eye there. When is Baron? How long? Three minutes? No, one minute. Okay, so I think what is what what uh, Renekton is doing is setting up for a Baron. What you do is you push that lane high, as high as possible. That way, even if they try to push back at you, you still have more lanes than them. So your, your lane is so safe, whereas they feel the pressure. And then if you can TP down with a Baron. Like what's happening right now is they're going to have to send somebody in, whereas Renekton now is tracking to go to Baron. Oh, no, he's not. Yeah, he is. Yep, they're pinging for Baron right now. And right now, Jax is not in position to stop a Baron. The only good thing is nobody pushed top lane. If you guys see, you have to play around your lanes, especially in the highest levels. You have to play around your lanes. So you need to push the lanes if you want to gain Dragon or, or Baron. Whoever has the highest lane push, the most lane pushes, has basically more control over those objectives because he can see more of the lanes. Let's see what happens here, guys. Also, the pressure on the lanes is less, so you you can take more time to make decisions. Whereas the enemy team has, is kind of constrained. They have to make a decision quickly, or the lane will push into their tower and take their towers away. There we are. Oriana just ulted C9. Is gonna, uh, Jojo is getting pinned. No follow-up. Come on! Let's go! Speaker finally ulted somebody that's not a Maokai. And there we are. Secures that kill. Vulcan tries to save the... Talia, that's in a, such a bad position for no reason. Why are you throwing the game right now? Why is C9 throwing the game? 
Why didn't Renekton meet up with C9? There's no other towers to go for. Now Dignitas gets the Baron. Baron. Can Blabber steal? Renekton is TPing. I, I, would, I would rather you just push. Renekton, just push. No, no, Kaisa, don't stop. What is Kaisa doing? They're pinging for Kaisa to go push and she's backing. Oh, this is absolutely unbelievable, boys. I've never seen anything worse than this. I, honestly, my, my solo queue games play better than this, guys. That's what happened. Jensen was able to catch the JoJo, proving that he is maybe the better mid laner. <laughs> They're gonna push now. Okay, now it's gonna, the game's about to switch up, guys. I think the Gnitas just uh, switched the whole game, which is crazy. C9 just threw the game. Do you guys see how C9? Did you see now that I, what, I'm, what I've been talking to you guys about? The Gnitas is setting up for later game plays, whereas C9 won the early game. But right now, Dignitas has a better caught. I think they have a better team comp. And the difference is not that big. It's only 4,000. Late game is not that big. It's just a level or two. And to be honest, at this point of the game, you're not going to feel it. You only feel it on the Renekton. You don't feel it on anyone else. Look at that speaker. He's just so big right now. If he secures that one more dragon, they win the game. The Baron was huge, but also this next dragon is a win winning game. C9 cannot give up this dragon. They're forced to fight this, and Dignitas want them to fight this. Oh my god, we're about to see... Oh no, Speaker, don't get caught. Speaker's getting caught, guys. Speak. Okay, Kaisa is just right in the middle of the game. Ka Somebody attack Berserker. He's literally in the middle of all of you. Oh my god. Sp <sighs> what is happening? How is the Gnitas throwing games like this? Why is can nobody push any damage onto the Leona? How can Renekton 2v 3v1? This is crazy, guys. The Gnitas is losing game automatically. The Gnitas is losing game automatically, guys. They are just getting caught. And Renekton is just 1 million times better than Jax. By 1 million times. It's not like by 2 or 3 times. By a million. Now C9 gets this dragon. At least this calms them down. This helps them a lot. Dignitas, honestly, Spica should have died for that dragon. I'm not going to lie. But I think what Spica wants to do is he wants... No, I, I don't know. I think he should have died for that dragon. Because it forces an Elder next turn. An Elder would have been amazing to fight for. Because that's what you've been doing the whole game. You've been trying to set up for a big fight. And that's where you... I mean, the way Kaisa and uh, Talia ultis... The way Kaisa sets up her positioning where to be... To set up behind the wall of Talia when she ultis... Is just so good. Like, Kaisa just... You're right. She jumped right in the middle of the fight. But then she, she like was set up in a way where she can flash right above tower... Or right above wall, so she cannot be touched. This Kaisa is insane. It's the biggest balls I've ever seen in my life. 40 minute game, still not done. Okay, well, it looks like it's 30 minutes for them. What are we going to do here, Oriana? Oriana, can you make anything happen? This Dignitas, is, can you force a fight? Can anyone force a fight here, besides Kaisa? Okay, oh no, Talia's in here. Yeah, you guys are stuck. Fight, 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 fight. Why is Pika running out? Why is Pika the only one running? Why is he not with his team ever? Why is Pika always the first one to run? Oh my god. Why is Pika not setting up in a way to be like able to ulti the whole team? I just don't know what's happening. Maybe he was just more focused on the blue buff and they got caught him there. That Talia ulti was kind of crazy. The problem with the Talia ulti as well is she sets up in a way where you don't know where she's coming from. Like... You don't know if she's going to jump on you or, or jump at the end of the wall. <laughs> it's kind of scary. Yeah, Berserk is about to take that top tower with the help of uh, Renekton. Jax is just not doing anything to really stop this. At least push Jax. Push that one more wave. Nope, Jax doesn't push. He just backs up ASAP. Makes sense. The, the inhibitor is going down. Spica is going to start. He needs to make a decision now. Who is he going to ulti? Spica, you cannot just watch Leona die. Oh my god. Or, I'm sorry, you can't just sit there and watch Oriana die. Guys, Speaker hasn't ulted yet. No, he did ulti. He just, he just wasted his ulti. Or his ulti was not as useful as it should be. I can't believe this. C9 is actually destroying this. I, uh, my, my viewers are winning over me. I, I, I must have made a really bad prediction because... Maybe you guys saw the Jackson and you're like, no way. <laughs> 
Renekton over Jax every day. C9 is just a safer team. They wanted to back up, uh, regroup, figure it out, and then we'll come back in a better time. Let's go, C9. Uh, I don't think they even tried to set up for anything. I think they just push bottom lane and win game right now. They don't, they don't, they don't wait for, for a Baron. They don't wait to catch somebody in jungle. They ju Maybe don't even push bot lane. Just keep going to top or mid. Looks like they're just pushing mid here. Talia's already set up. C9 Blabber is coming up from behind. Speak is about to get caught here. He's actually a big target for them. I know he looks huge, but he, they can't kill him easy. After Talia ultis. He's usually dead every time. Jax is finally pushing bottom lane. He's gaining some value for the team finally and for himself gaining those waves. I don't know if he continues pushing, but uh, he could take... Uh, yeah, he, look what's happening right now. He's sucking so much attention. They have to back. They cannot actually just engage right now. They want to back up. Right, Renekton back. Talia is going to TP up behind and they're going to lock this Jax in. Killing this Jax might signal the end of the game. Killing this Jax is signaling the end of the game, guys. They want the Jax to jump on the Talia. Come on, Jax. Die. If Jax dies, this is the end of the game. Does Talia not have ulti? Okay, even if Jax uh, dies execution style, it's still the end of the game. Okay, Jax is sucking so much energy and time. It's not, um, it's not that bad, actually. He sucked so much energy and time. What the hell? Is Jax almost 1v3? Oh my god. All right. All right, boys. Not bad. Not bad at all. Good game there. Good manipulation. I dropped everywhere, water. There's something running on my fucking desk. All right, C9's catching. They're gonna toss off their center. I mean, Dignitas is done right now. That's it, C9. Dignitas cannot shut this down. C9 just won another game here, boys. Really amazing job. I don't think Dignitas can shut this down. Can Dign can Speaker ulti somebody good? Oh, Jax coming from behind. There's a nice ulti. Oh, Leon is not a nice ulti at all. Jax literally does nothing. Phantos just flashes right in the middle of everyone. Talia's damage is insane. Kaisa's right in the center. Leon cut the last guy. Sven can't run. He's trying. Oh my god. That's a good game there. Blabber finishing the game. I mean, guys, they tried. They tried their best, but the like, team comp just did not work to their favor. What a good game there from C9. What an amazing game. GG.